much. Right now, I'm in the tiny village. This is the first time that it's here, right, Daniel? Because you guys yeah. brought this here. This exists in the States, but never here in Canada. Yeah, it's kind of a new thing up here, for sure. So tell me a little bit about this tiny, this true north tiny village <laughs> concept. Um, so we really want to bring the whole villages thing of tiny homes to Canada. And so this is like our first village inside the Enercare Center. So this home that we're kind of walking into right now, how tiny is this guy? This is 280 square feet. Oh my goodness. We call this the millennial. The millennial, yeah. I love it. This is very much my vibe. Um, it actually, it's funny because when I walk in here, it feels more spacious than my condo does. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Um, so what is kind of the intention and strategy behind building these homes? So I have a design company, I've been designing houses for years, mm -hmm. and I see a lot of tiny houses, which we've been enthusiastic about, but people, we just felt we could do it better. So we wanted right. to design a space that was very functional, so it felt bigger than right. it was. And it, and it does, it 100% yeah. does. So we have the kitchen in here, and so what's the idea here? You have like your little living space back there. Yep, so we got living room slash dining room. Um, we, have <laughs> a second, we have a second door there, but um, you could set that up differently with a table if you wanted more of a dining room. Uh -huh. We've got the galley kitchen. We've got everything that you need in here, including a yeah, dishwasher. Yeah, there's actually like a lot of storage. Tons of storage. It looks like yeah. there's a lot of storage. Like I said, we thought a lot of people were doing it wrong, so we wanted to show how we could do it better. And uh -huh. when living small doesn't mean you can't live in luxury. Ah, I like that. I'm all about luxury. And then upstairs, you have like a little loft area as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's the typical tiny home thing doesn't quite meet Ontario Building Code because of uh, ceiling heights, but uh -huh. we're working on that. We're working on it. <laughs> and so where has this been living right now? <laughs> so we actually have this in Niagara on Airbnb, uh -huh. and people rent it almost every single night of the year. That's awesome. How much is it going for a night? About 100 bucks a night. A hundred bucks a night, you can live in luxury and yes. a small space, um, which is like where people are at right now, because not a lot of people can afford a home. Yes, exactly. So we wanted to fill that need. Also the housing crisis of the number of people moving into the area are just uh -huh. going to drive prices higher and higher all the time. 100%. All right, well, we're going to get to looking at a couple more things that are going on at the Fall Home Show. It's it kicks off today and it's happening all the way until Sunday, all weekend long. Um, Frankie, what's going on with the weather this weekend? 